Yo, what up, what up, it's the KCJ City, so we back with a brand new video. Today, we are going to be talking about all of my samples of the week. Basically, what I did here is I decided to try a whole bunch of different pineapple fragrances, all right? You know, and I'll be honest with you guys, before I tried all of these fragrances, I realized I was mistaken about the note of pineapple, man, because when I think of pineapple, of course, the only thing that comes to mind is Aventus, and I'm very used to Aventus, that signature opening. So I'm thinking, you know, that opening with the pineapple, the apple, the bergamot, the juniperberry, and all that, you know, stuff. I'm kind of feeling like when I think of pineapple, I'm supposed to be getting an Aventus opening, all right? And then also when you guys try other Aventus clones, something like Mont Blanc, you know, um, Explorer, they can, you know, they could kind of simulate that that uh, that Aventus opening, but it's honestly not due to the pineapple, I'm starting to realize. I'm hearing that it's really due to the, the bergamot and things of that nature. So I realized that I have pineapple completely, you know, misconstrued, and I just did not understand what the note of pineapple was until I, until I smelled all of these fragrances because all of them share the same note and it has nothing to do with Aventus. It's so crazy, man. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk about it, man. On Monday, I decided to go with a brand new fragrance. Well, it's a little brand new. I think it came out the tail end of 2019. And this one is gonna come from the house of Rochas. And this one is going to be Loam Rochas, okay? So this is the same uh, company that made that uh, mustache, the one that kind of smelled like, you know, Yves Saint Laurent tuxedo. They have a new fragrance and it's called Loam Rochas, okay? And, uh, um, you know, honestly, this thing has some pineapple in it, so I was super excited to smell this thing. I'm like, yo, how does it smell like Aventus? How does it compare? And it didn't smell anything like Aventus, but I did smell some fruity nature to it. I didn't think that that was actually pineapple, but it was some sort of like fruity nature to this fragrance, man. This thing, it does have like some cardamom in it. I can pick up on the cardamom and the spices, you know, kind of in the dry down. But in the opening, you do kind of get like this nice, fresh, fruity type of nature. Then in the dry down, you're gonna pick up on the cardamom, you're gonna pick up on a little bit of spices. This thing also has some juniperberry in it. I'm picking up on the juniperberry. I don't know if anybody else will, but I picked that up. And then I'm also picking up a little of this geranium type of note, man. It's not really floral, but I'm picking up on a lot of geranium, you know, kind of in the heart and the dry down. This thing says it has tonka bean in it. Honestly, I don't really pick up on much tonka bean with this fragrance, man. I get a nice, fruity, fresh opening, smell really good and then it kind of goes into like this nice like spicy cardamom type of vibe and then also I get like juniperberry and geranium in the dry down that's what I'm getting here man honestly it's a really good fragrance it really is only problem about this is really hard to find you know uh, you can't really find this thing online you can go on eBay and I think somebody's decanting this thing but I don't really see too many people decanting this thing either people own this but they're they're keeping it for themselves so I guess that's a testament to how this thing smells overall it smells really good it's a really good fragrance for sure i don't really get too much pineapple or what i thought was pineapple i'll get to that a little later but i do get a little fruity nuance man so as far as like compliments go can you get some compliments with this fragrance absolutely you can get compliments with this thing this thing smells really good i have no complaints about this fragrance at all man from the opening the heart the dry down everything really good man i feel like the price tag on here is really good i think it's like 50 60 bucks if you can find it but it seems pretty limited or it's not you know released in the u.s yet but you can definitely get some compliments with this is it worth a sample absolutely this is worth a sample even if you're not seeking for a pineapple fragrance this is just a really good fragrance to try out i definitely recommend trying this out i like it man it's a good fragrance you know uh overall is it worth a full bottle yes if you can get your hands on a full bottle but like i said really hard to find i'm not even really seeing too many people trade this in the facebook groups man so you probably have to wait a little bit but i'm telling you really really good fragrance i enjoyed that that's what i went with on Monday. All right. So let's go ahead and move on to Tuesday. This was a fragrance that I decided to sample. And this one comes from the house of Parfums Vintage. They got a new uh, release with their whole Emperor line. And this one is going to be called Emperor Colossus. Okay. So if you guys are not familiar with this, I don't know, maybe you've been under a rock or something, but you know, Parfum Vintage, they make um, a vintage clones, man. They came out with the whole Parfum Vintage Pineapple, you know, series. Then they came out with their Emperor series. And me personally, I feel like, I think it was Emperor Napoleon, I think it was, that one extremely close to Aventus, almost like a dead on, you know, spot on clone of Aventus. So I'm like, yo, that was pretty good, let me try this. So I get this, and I'm telling you, man, 
this thing smells nothing like Aventus at all. Completely goes left. They're talking about they amped up the pineapple in this thing. They decided to make it more woody, add some spices in here. No, I personally do not get that. What I get in the opening of this fragrance is a really sticky, syrupy pineapple, man. It really feels like you cut up a pineapple and you just got pineapple residue on your fingertips and you ain't washed your hands all day. That's what the thing smells like to me, dude. So I'm like, yo, and then it also has like this, this cough medicine type of vibe in the opening, man. It just wasn't enjoyable to me, man. So I'm like, yo, this is not it. This doesn't smell like a Ventus at all. And as a standalone fragrance, it's not good. You know, when it comes to uh, Parfum Vintage, I like the fact that they can take a fragrance and make it smell a little different from a vintage, you know, like Vanilla Intense, I like that. You know, the X-Back series, I like that, you know? So, you know, even like Pineapple Vintage, to me, doesn't really smell like a vintage too much. That pineapple in there is really good, but I like when they can kind of veer off just a little bit. This one, I thought they were gonna veer off a little bit. They were gonna amp up the pineapple. They were gonna add some woods and some spices. This thing smells nothing like a vintage at all. I, I immediately go on a Parfum Vintage Facebook group, because I'm like, yo, I know people about to start trashing this thing, man. What people saying about this? I type it in and people, oh man, this thing is so good. I'm loving the new uh, Emperor Colossus. You know, this thing is fire. I'm like, what? And so honestly, maybe it's just me, but I do not like this fragrance at all, man. I did one little spray right here and I couldn't take it, dude. I don't even know what the far dry down smells like. Maybe the thing, you know, uh, dries down into a Ventus. Likely, but unlikely. I doubt it, man. This thing, don't like it at all. Ugh, I don't like this fragrance. So, honestly, will you get any compliments with this fragrance? No, you won't get any compliments with this fragrance. And if you guys know me, I'm not a biased person. I might dislike a fragrance, but I'll admit you can you pull some compliments with that fragrance. You know, I'll say, hey man, this bottle ain't for me. I'm not buying it, but for you, yeah, you'll get some compliments. No, this one, I can't see how anybody will get any compliments with this fragrance. It doesn't smell good at all. Sticky pineapple uh, fragrance with some weird medicinal cough syrup type of vibe. Ah. Don't like it, man. No, you're not pulling no compliments with this record. Is it worth a sample? Like I said, pulling out, I'm not gonna be biased here. Yes, it's worth a sample because, you know, if you're a fan of this uh, house, then you should explore the house. So yes, get it, get your hands on this and sample it for yourself. See if you like it yourself. Is it worth a full bottle? To me, absolutely not worth a full bottle because we already know how these things are. Very expensive, like $160, $170 for 100 ml. You could take that same $170, go on the Facebook group and get you a 100 ml decant of Aventus. So if it's an Aventus clone that you're looking for and you're gonna spend $170, Honestly, you should just go get some Aventus. But if you really, really like this new, you know, DNA that they got going on here, then maybe it will be worth a full purchase for you. But for me, no, I'm saving my money. But anyway, that's what I went with on Tuesday. Let's go ahead and move on to Wednesday. Fragrance that I decided to go with came from the house of Memo, and this one is gonna be called Tamarindo, all right? You know, I hope that's how you pronounce it. I just saw the note of pineapple in there. I'm like, yo, let me try this because Memo, uh, I, I'm pretty cool with Memo. I've tried some of their fragrances. I haven't pulled the trigger on any of their fragrances yet, you know, but I, I'm, I'm exploring the house. So I'm like, yo, they got something called pineapple. They got something with pineapple in it. Let me try it. So I tried this stuff. This thing right here in the opening, you're going to get, it says you're going to get bergamot, you're going to get cardamom, you're going to get pineapple. Okay. Honestly, I do get the pineapple, but again, it's not a Ventus pineapple. It's not what I thought was pineapple but I'm starting to realize what this note of pineapple is. And you do get it, man. You're gonna get that in here. And then honestly, you do kind of get some cardamom in this in this thing, man. It's not like a East Saint Laurent, it's not anything like that, but you pick up on the cardamom. You do pick that up here. And then also this thing says it's gonna have some, uh, uh, some jasmine in it. I don't really get too much jasmine. Tuberose, oh yes, I get tuberose in this thing because honestly, a lot of people are saying it's unisex. For me, it's not unisex at all. It just is a strictly woman's fragrance, man. Doesn't smell like a perfume or anything, but this just smells like what a nice woman would smell like, man. So you're gonna get, you know, that pineapple note, you're gonna get some cardamom, and then you are going to get a little of that tuberose as well, man. It says you have patchouli in here. I don't really pick up on patchouli. Some vanilla, yes, I'm picking up on the vanilla as well here, man. So you kind of get like this vanilla, you know, uh, cardamom kind of, 
smell feel to it and to my nose i'm not saying you know it's, it smells exactly like that but it just reminds me of like a pastry treat or something like cinnabon or something like that and i think it has to you know do with the, the sweetness from the pineapple it has to do with that cardamom and that vanilla all of that stuff combined and then on top of that you get like tuberose it's just it's a it's a girly uh fragrance not like perfumey but it smells like a woman should wear this thing, you know? So let's just talk about, you know, compliments. Will you pull any compliments with this fragrance? Hey, this is what I'm gonna say. If you tell me you are pulling some compliments with this fragrance, I won't, you know, uh, disagree with you and I wouldn't be shocked because it smells like a nice, like woman would like this. So if maybe you're out and a woman gets a waff of it and she thinks you smell good and she's gonna compliment you, man. So majority of our compliments come from women. So a woman smelling something that smells a little familiar, she probably would give you a compliment, all right? But you know, I'm not gonna be shocked at all. Is, is this just mass appealing, people pleasing, you're gonna get compliments from everybody? No, it's not one of those types of fragrances at all, man. This thing does last for quite a bit of time, so you know, people are gonna smell you, so if you could pull some compliments, this would be the fragrance to do it because of the projection and the longevity that you'll get out of this fragrance. Is it worth a sample? If you're familiar with this house and you've tried stuff from this house, and you're open to trying stuff from this house, yes. If you haven't heard of this house, this should not be the first one you dive into. That's what I'm gonna say, okay? So, you know, go at your own risk. Is it gonna be worth a full bottle? If you absolutely like this fragrance, yes, but it's very expensive at the same time, man. So please don't go blind buying this bottle. Make sure you really, really enjoy this fragrance before you buy a bottle. But anyway, that's what I went with on Wednesday. Let's go ahead and move on to a fragrance that I decided to go with on Thursday. And this one is gonna come from the house of Dua and this one is going to be called Poseidon Tux. So this one is going to be like their merger or their kind of, uh, you know, fuse, their hybrid series, man. So basically what they did is they took Aventus and they took Yves Saint Laurent Tuxedo and they did like this little hybrid, okay? I don't know about you guys, but if you guys been paying attention to Dua, Dua is out here trying to claim the number one spot, all right? They are dropping fragrances left and right. They're coming out with fragrances, releasing fragrances before the original fragrance releases. Man, they had Tom Prick out on the market before Tom Ford had his on the market. It's crazy, man. They remind me of that old school Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne was just out here running around, dropping verses, killing everything, man. That's what Dua is out here doing. They're trying to stake their claim, and they are not playing man Dua is creeping for that number one spot but they came out with a new hybrid i like aventus i like tux you know infuses together hey let me try it. let me see what you got man and honestly what you get with this fragrance you don't get aventus to me but you get a nice sweet juicy opening and you're gonna get mixed with that uh Yves saint laurent tuxedo man so if you're a fan of Yves saint laurent tuxedo just imagine that dna with a little sweetness on the top and then a little sweetness you know in the dry down man honestly i feel like it was a good hybrid it came out pretty good doesn't smell like a vintage to me but I think that it smells good. You do get that pineapple in here, but I'm telling you, it's not the Aventus pineapple. It's the pineapple that you're gonna get with all of these fragrances. It just completely changed my outlook on pineapple. But you do get pineapple, you get a sweetness, and then basically you get your spices, and then you get, you know, I think it's vanilla in this fragrance. You get that, you know, signature, you know, uh, Yves Saint Laurent tuxedo. They did a really good job at cloning tuxedo. Like I say, you get fruitiness in the top. Is it worth a sample? Absolutely, this thing is worth a sample. If you're a fan of Tuxedo, if you want something a little bit more fruity or up top, check it out, sample it, man. Can you get some compliments with this fragrance? Absolutely, you can pull some compliments with this fragrance, and I really enjoy this fragrance as well, man. So I definitely think you could pull some compliments. Women will like it, men will like it for sure. Is it worth a full bottle? To me, absolutely, it's worth a full bottle because Dua, I think you could get like a 30 ml for like 50, 60 bucks. They run a lot of uh, uh, sales and stuff like that. Good fragrance, check it out, man, Poseidon Tux. Now, let's go ahead and move on to Friday. This fragrance right here, <laughs> this is actually a woman's fragrance, all right? I wanted to explore a woman's line because dang, they got pineapple in it. Let me see what's going on, man. So this one's gonna come from the house of Clive Christian, and this one is going to be called 1872 for women, all right? I tried the 1872 for men, pretty cool, but to me, little bitter or it's more on the bitter side you know it has a nice little lemon up top but it leans more masculine more bitter this one i was like hey let me see what's going on here man and this one it's very very fruity up top but it does not smell like a woman's perfume at all so just because this is marketed towards women 
don't don't uh you know be deceived by this fragrance because it smells really really good i'm telling you man honestly i'm gonna play around with this fragrance I, i'm definitely gonna burn through this i'm basically trying to see if i'm gonna pull the trigger and buy a full bottle of this because it's, it's really good to me man so in the opening boom you get that pineapple you get some more sweetness man this thing has a lot of notes in it too i got my little cheat sheet here so i'm gonna go here and i'm gonna see what they got so you get pineapple you get bergamot yeah i can pick up the bergamot for sure in this fragrance you're gonna get blueberries I don't really pick up blueberries, but I'm telling you, it's a lot of sweetness up top. So I'm contributing that to, I'm attributing that to, to the, uh, the blueberry and then also the tangerine, man. So I feel like a lot of that and then, you know, the pineapple is what is giving me that sweetness up top pineapple tangerine and then blueberries straight sweetness up top but you also get a nice freshness man you're also going to get like some lemon up top and bergamot so very well blended with this thing smells really really good man and then in the dry down it says you're going to get some jasmine some lily of the valley i don't really pick up on that at all what i do pick up on is you know some violet and then i'm also picking up on some oak moss and I'm also picking up on some patchouli and some cedar wood. This thing has a lot of stuff, sandalwood in it, guyac wood, I don't really pick up on that, but deep in the dry down, you are gonna get, you know, that familiar, you know, scent with the 1872 for men. It's a little bitter, man, and I honestly feel like that bitterness is gonna come from that violet, that oak moss is gonna come from that patchouli and that cedar wood. That's what you're getting here, but honestly, overall, really really good fragrance man nice sweetness and manly at the same time i enjoy this it's a shame they market it for women only because a lot of men are probably going to miss out on a good fragrance i really like it man let's go ahead and talk about compliment factor me personally i enjoy the fragrance for myself but i don't think you're gonna go out here just pulling a whole bunch of compliments with this fragrance all right it smells pretty different but it smells good at the same time somebody might think you're a pleasure to be around but i don't think this is gonna knock people off uh, you know off their their feet want to run up to you and give you a compliment so me honestly i'm gonna have to go for no you're probably not gonna get many compliments with this fragrance but you will personally enjoy the fragrance is it worth a sample 100 percent matter of fact 200 percent. this is worth a sample because i don't know if people are talking about this thing and i don't know if many people will talk about it because it's marketed towards women but i'm gonna recommend it go out there try it and see for yourself definitely worth a sample man for sure you know is it worth a full bottle you know that's pending all right because this stuff is pretty expensive man you know <laughs> i don't know where the wife is but this stuff is like three hundred dollars man i think it get on discounters but maybe like eh, 200 or something like that but Ooh, this stuff is super expensive so be cautious before you actually you know purchase a full bottle but honestly to me i don't know i'm leaning towards yes this thing is worth a full bottle really good i like it man let's go ahead and move on to saturday a fragrance that i decided to go with comes from the house of i'm gonna butcher this i think it's parley dough parfum or something like that but it's called mile high all right i'll leave the uh you know description down here this is a fragrance i'll be honest i heard my man sebastian talking about it and i'm like yo i gotta get my hands on this it got pineapple in it i want to try this thing man you know so the notes honestly don't really do this thing justice this thing says you have like a uh, immortal in it i honestly don't know what immortal is but if you guys want to get a better understanding of it go watch sebastian's video he breaks it down really well this thing has pineapple and then it's also going to have vanilla and i think patchouli in here okay so nice sweetness in the opening you're gonna get some sweetness but you're also gonna get some weird you know some not darkness but it almost smells like coffee or something like that even though there's no coffee in here it kind of reminds me of coffee like maybe it's the vanilla or you know the patchouli vanilla combination going on there but I just get this really sweet coffee, you know, type of vibe. And that's basically all I get with this fragrance. It doesn't really have much going on, so it doesn't develop. It doesn't weave in and out of a lot, but it's a really nice sweetness in the opening, but you're also gonna get a weird type of darkness that honestly reminds me of coffee, you know? So that's basically all you get with this fragrance. And honestly, it's not bad, it's not good. It's just pretty neutral to me, man, you know? So if you if that sounds interesting to you, nice sweetness from the pineapple mixed with like some, uh, not earthiness, but you know, like coffee type of vibes. I guess it's vanilla and patchouli. Just think of that together. Then maybe it's gonna be worth a sample for you, man. So, you know, definitely something you could make up your own mind, go out there and sample for yourself. Cause maybe that description wasn't, you know, the best 
best and you guys can actually describe it a little bit better but yeah man it's interesting go out there try it man when you get some compliments with this fragrance yeah you can pull some compliments but unlikely i don't think you're gonna get many compliments with this fragrance unless you have the perfect setting to wear this at man you look the part you know the the place is the part you know yes you could get some compliments in the right setting but overall now nah, you're not just gonna walk around just getting a whole bunch of compliments with this fragrance is it worth a full bottle to me it's on the expensive side i think it's like 180 bucks man so if you really enjoy the fragrance if you love it then it will be worth a full bottle but don't blind buy this bottle at all man because it's very different and that's 160 bucks that's pretty expensive but that's what i have to say about that fragrance called mile high now the very last fragrance that i decided to go with came from the house of zerjoff and this one is going to be called accento okay this is the old school one don't get the Uden uh, uh um accento get the one in the purple bottle if you guys want to try this thing out so this is pretty interesting man so this fragrance right here in the opening to me it's weird but i get that juicy pineapple i'm getting pineapple up up top but i'm also getting like you know what i feel is like cardamom and then also some iris in this fragrance dude it's it's really weird it's not necessarily like dr arm or prada Lone, but the iris you can pick up on that iris man so i'm getting you know sweetness from the pineapple little spice i think from the cardamom and then i'm also getting iris in this thing and then in the dry down you still get a little bit of that sweetness but you're getting a lot of iris as well man so i think this is to me to my note this is like a very heavy iris fragrance so if that smells interesting to you then go out there and give it a shot because you get sweet iris with this fragrance all right i don't really know if there's too many sweet iris cardamom type of fragrances out there i know there's iris but if you guys are a fan of iris definitely check this thing out man to me interesting doesn't smell bad doesn't smell like overwhelmingly good but it is pretty good man you know the way that they, this thing smells it's pretty decent it's pretty good i don't really have too much bad to say about this fragrance if you don't like iris i feel like you can still kind of enjoy this because you know the iris it is throughout the fragrance you get it but it's not just overpowering everything this is blended pretty well man zerzhoff they blend fragrances really well just like roja dove but anyway you know i digress let's go ahead and talk about the compliment factor will you get some compliments with this fragrance I think you can get some compliments with this fragrance. I, I think you can. I'm not going to say this is a compliment magnet. Everybody's just going to be flocking to you. But, you know, if you wear this thing a lot, you can get some compliments with this fragrance for sure. You can pull some. Is it worth a sample? Yes, I feel like it's worth a sample. It's interesting, man. Go out there, try it, explore it for yourself, man. See if you like it because I feel like that's an interesting combination. Pineapple, iris, little cardamom. Definitely worth a sample, worth a full bottle. Honestly, I'm gonna I'm have to lean with yes is worth a full bottle because you know if you actually enjoy this fragrance you're not gonna really smell like a lot of people you probably don't own anything in your collection that's you know smells exactly like this you can get a lot of wearings out of this fragrance and so forth so i do feel like this is worth a full bottle if you actually enjoy the sample but sample it first and see the price tag i feel like it's like 160 180 you can go on the facebook groups you can probably find it for a little cheaper man but uh it's worth a full bottle because you can get some use out of it and your chances are you're not going to have a lot of fragrances that smell like that but anyway that's going to wrap things up for my pineapple week all right man i have a new outlook on pineapple all right it doesn't always have to smell like a vintage so if you guys see a new fragrance coming out and has pineapple in it don't immediately assume it's going to smell like aventus because none of these smell like aventus at all and they have pineapple in it and pineapple is a very dominant note because I smell the similarity in every single one of these fragrances when it comes to that sweetness, man. So that's pretty interesting, dog, man. So go ahead, if you guys have tried any of these fragrances, drop those comments down below. Let the people know what you feel about these fragrances. Let me know, let's have a conversation. You already know what it is. But until next time, I'm CJ City. I'm signing out. I appreciate all the love. Peace.